So Unit 3 is more probability. Um, this time we're talking about inclusive and exclusive events. So we have inclusive right here and events that can occur at the same time. And we have this formula. And then mutually exclusive is events that cannot occur at the same time. And we have another formula. Then we have some Venn diagrams. So I'm going to start with the Venn diagrams. There's an S in all of them. That S just means this is our sample space. So don't get mixed up by the S, it doesn't really mean anything. And then let's go through these. So here I have A and B, probability of A and probability of B. They're completely separate. We would call this mutually exclusive. There's no overlap. So we would just take probability of A plus the probability of B if we're looking at the OR situation. So I included the AND, and we should probably talk about this notation. So see in the middle there's a little cross. So that means AND in that. And then OR is the other way. So like this formula, both of these have OR. If you were to see that in probability notation, it would say A and then it'd have a U in between them. So the upside down N kind of means AND and then the U shape means OR. So this is probability of A or B equals probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. So you may see some of that notation. Okay, so OR is like that. Oh, no, nope, I wrote that wrong. As soon as I wrote it. Or is like that. So and means that there's overlap, that we're looking at part of A and part of B. So this is from our last unit, we just didn't have the notation. If we want the probability of A and B, we just multiply those. It's the counting principle. So that should be a review, but we're going to use that and in what we're learning today. So this is when we have inclusive. So we take the probability of A or B. That's this whole thing. It could be A or it could be B. So what we do is we take the probability of one and we add the probability of the other. And I'm going to retrace that again so you can see what happens. You can kind of see it in the picture, but let me explain it. If I take the probability of A, I include this whole thing, even this part. And then if I take the probability of B, I take the whole thing, even this part. So notice that I counted the middle twice. So to take account of that, we subtract just the middle, the A and B. Because when we add these two, we're taking the middle here and we're taking the middle here. And we only want the middle one time. So that is called inclusive and we add and then subtract the overlap. 